Hello, I'm Scruffy, and today I'm talking about the lively and captivating music from one of Nintendo's newest IPs, the Nintendo Switch fighting game, ARMS. I gotta hand it to Nintendo. Everything about their creative design feeds well into core gameplay. This game is all about throwing punches in a turbocharged, spring-loaded boxing match. And everything, the gloves, the extendable arms, the items and effects designs, the enclosed arenas, the sports vans, and even the engaging music all feed into the satisfying feeling of delivering a knuckle sandwich with a jab of the Joy-Con. In the end, it all fits like... a glove. But there's some interesting choices going on specifically in the soundtrack of the game. It's something of a cultural melting pot of fighting music, and I'd like to show you some of the inspirations it takes, which gives insight into the environment and mood that ARMS comes from. So, let's spring right in! ARMS's credit reel attributes the music direction to Atsuko Asahi and Yasuaki Iwata, two composers who have produced some of Nintendo's other recent live soundtracks. You've got your Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8 and its DLC, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So they do not mess around, and they don't skimp on getting real deal instruments and professional studio musicians who probably have lasting contracts with Nintendo by now. For instance, you can hear the bassist from 3D World and Mario Kart 8, Tepe Kawasaki, performing his fancy licks and slap bass fills in the ARMS soundtrack. So we can say that Nintendo has built itself this sound world out of its brass players, rhythm section, and a collection of soloists. ARMS takes it a step further on the aggressive side, with lots of heavy drum set percussion and power chords or distorted riffs on guitar, often emulating the sort of music you'd hear over a televised wrestling match. Of course, heavy percussion is kind of necessary for a fast-paced fighting game like this because the motion and intensity of fighting are very jagged and percussive. The music really gets you amped, right? Well then, what about this sound? What's that doing there? And why is the music sung by a chorus so much? And why is it that the first sound you hear when starting the game is this weird percussion instrument? They certainly don't appear in average Nintendo tunes or WWE incidental cues. But those unique instruments and more actually provide the clues to the inspirations for ARMS music. Let's start with this springy sound. That begins the theme to Springman's eponymous Spring Stadium. It's not MIDI, this is a recording of a very old instrument called a berimbau. It's a wooden bow with a long steel string attached around its ends and a hollowed out gourd for a resonator. It acts more as a percussion instrument than a string instrument, as you can hear. And it comes from a very specific type of music called capoeira. Capoeira is an ancient Brazilian martial art focused around rhythmic music. The martial art is a performance. It's about skill, not destroying the opponent. Often capoeira participants, or capoeiristas, will demonstrate acrobatic moves around each other, simulating combat. Capoeira is performed in a circle of people called a joda, and everyone in the joda sings a determined melody and claps while following the musician with the berumbau and the percussionists. The intensity of the music determines the intensity of the combat, and the musicians can even decide when a match ends. The martial art is just not capoeira without the music. Now, did anything about that sound familiar to arms? We've got a berimbau, we've got a choral vocal melody, and we have percussion imported from Brazil. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds to me like the first drum we hear booting up arms is a timbau, a conical metal drum with a nylon head and a sharp metallic sound. We also hear an apito, a whistle with multiple tones often used in samba. So ARMS is channeling Brazilian culture and capoeira vocabulary to effectively make its fighting world more lively. Capoeira isn't the only culture whose musical tropes have enhanced the combative feel of ARMS. For instance, the character Ninjara comes from a ninja college. The ARMS website even says that it's specifically for the martial art ninjutsu. So his associated stage borrows tropes of traditional Japanese music, such as a driving rhythm on shamisen. Twin tells an actress, so her film set stage is scored with little decorations inspired by Hollywood orchestra scores. Ribbon Girl is a pop singer, so her stage sports elements of lively modern pop songs and her own vocal melody. But through and through, the Brazilian communal sense of music really shines here, with Brazilian instruments or vocals making their way into almost every song, and eventually becoming synonymous with the main two motifs of the game, 
I think my personal favorite is Buster Beach's theme. It's lively, and it mixes together a stew of samba rhythms and timbales, a happy-go-lucky Latin horn section, and cop show tropes like wah guitar. And none of that is swayed by finding myself fighting the best with bite and bark. That's all I wanted to mention. Capoeira was definitely a big inspiration for this soundtrack, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Joda helped inspire the look or feel of the stadiums or of combat itself. Capoeira doesn't really involve punching, but it does involve dramatic and acrobatic moves around the play area, a demonstration of skill, and a constant sense of community, particularly in its music. And I think ARMS captures that feeling quite well. Is it authentic to Capoeira? Of course not. But it's not capoeira music at all. It's just using ideas from a successful combat genre to create its own sound world that feels intense, vivacious, and together. I hope you enjoyed listening to my thoughts on it, and if you'd like to listen to ARMS music at ARMS reach, check out the channel Distifizer. It was a really helpful source to figure out this soundtrack's inner workings. The link is in the description. And with that, I'm Scruffy, and thank you very much for watching.